So pick this up from uh, Tom Coates uh, down at Tandem Cycles in Brisbane, and they're upgrading all their Chapter 2s to the uh, the new disc brake models, and this was a, a custom paint job on this one by Ben Wallace, who's a, a, a very well-known frame painter down in Brizzy. So it's a beautiful looking thing. Doesn't look like much in the uh, in the shade, but once the sun hits the uh, the candy, purpley, reddy, cherry red kind of colour on the top tube, it's a beautiful frame. So this is their climbing bike. Huru means uh, feather in mountain apparently yeah. so yeah beautiful to ride uh, the main reason I've chosen this bike uh, as a successor to the BH is of course the geometry I mean what else could it be from the bike fit guy <laughs> 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 like, well, it's got to be the geometry so this this thing is absolutely perfect for me the it's a it's a large the BH was a medium so the, the head tube is about 23 millimeters taller than the BH and I had a 20 millimeter spacer stack under the stem of the BH which has now been deleted so we can run the stem as low as it can be and the bars are still at the same height relative to the saddle so the front end the stack is a bit taller the reach is only about three millimeters longer so I stuck with a 100 mil stem because it's not significantly longer, even though it's one size up relative to the BH. This is more closely tuned to like a 56, whereas the BH was closer to a 54. The critical thing here, which, which I really wanted, was a, a round seat post with a zero offset um, uh, clamping system on this, which enables me to move the seat further forward. The BH had a very, very slack seat tube angle. It had a 72.5 degree seat tube angle, which is very, very lazy. So this tube was inclined back a long way, which unfortunately moves the rider's pelvis back a long way. 72.5 degree seat tube angles are very rare. You don't see them very much on race road bikes. It's a bit of a quirky geometry. This is a 73, 73 and a half. Uh, it's one of the two, it's steeper than the other one. But the critical thing, zero offset seat post, which moves the, it allows me to move the seat significantly further forward and get me over the bottom bracket a bit better. I was always, I had the seat as far forward as it could possibly be on the BH and it was just borderline far enough forward for, for, for climbing purposes. So this is, I've ended up with the seat about eight millimeters further forward, which is actually meaning that the bars are actually about five millimeters closer to me despite having the same length stem and a longer reach on the actual frame. So it's a more forward position and which is, is opening up the hip angle a bit. I can get down to the bars more easily. The ride quality of the frame is beautiful. It's uh, very, very light. It's, as, as its name would suggest, it's a fantastic climbing bike, as light as a feather. Uh, comes in at about, uh, I think it's about 7.1 I thought you kilos. said all these categories were bullshit. Yeah, it's all rubbish, mate. It's all rubbish. <laughs> aero, aero bikes, climbing bikes. No, this this is a, a, a flat out, all and out, up, going up hills type bike, this one. The other one is a flat out race bike. Right. This is very compliant uh, in the front end versus the BH, so it's not beating my neck up as much. It's a beautiful bike. Um, so very, very happy. Purchase secondhand. I'm a, I'm a, a sucker for a bargain, and uh, Tom put this one up for sale, and uh, I think it was, I think it lasted about an hour <laughs> before I jumped on it. So yeah, she, she's, a, she's a great bike. So very, very happy, and thanks, Tom. And um, chapter two, yeah, you guys are making some beautiful frames. You were very happy with your rear ray that you, you yeah. had a long time ago, um, and uh, they, they make a really, really nice quality frame. So, sponsored. Not sponsored. No. No. no one sponsors me, mate. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm determined to not be an industry shill. No, <laughs> no, I'm not sponsored. But uh, I'm, I'm very, very happy with the quality of the frame. I had a good look around inside it with a with a boroscope, and um, yeah, the. Um, the, the, the internal moulding of the frame is really, really neat. The bearing seats in the bottom bracket were very tight, but not overly tight, putting the Jurais bottom bracket in, which is always a good sign of quality as well. Uh, Han Benny would be proud of that one, mate. <laughs> He'd be proud of that one. It was just right. Yeah. Cool. So very happy. And uh, thanks again, Chapter 2, for making a great bike. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> Bontrager brakes. <laughs> I felt a bit dirty putting them on. Mm -hmm.